What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Shout out to my boy, Derek. What up, D? Thank you so much for your question. Thank you so much for your support on YouTube. You guys, this is what it's all about, man, is I need to know what the hell you guys are thinking, right? I want to be able to answer your questions. What are you thinking, right? Comment below. Let me know what you guys are up to. Let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing over here online. Um, I love answering questions from you guys, man, because, again, it, it really just makes this content more relevant to those of you that are watching, right? So shout out to my boy D. He asked a really good question. And I said, man, I'll make a video explaining that um, because I really believe a lot of you will, will get value out of this. Um, here's here's Derek's question right here. And, um, and, it's, and again, it's a good question um, because as I speak to a lot of real estate agents specifically, I really see real estate agents running lead gen ads. And, and that's this right here, what he's asking, a lead form. So when you, and I'll show you where it's at, but what he what he's referring to is a lead generation ad within Facebook. I see that a lot with real estate agents um, specifically because I don't know if it's just because I talk to most of them all damn day, but, um, but it's really that industry where I'll see use lead generation. Nine out of 10 businesses use conversions and they, they use a landing page and they run conversion ads. And again, I'll show you where that's at. But here he's asking, um, I see you promote a lot of conversion ads. When should you use a lead form ad? Again, D, thank you so much for your support. Great question. Um, a lead form ad is really if you don't have web pages. So if you don't have landing pages, I use Kartra. A lot of people use ClickFunnels. Um, there's Kajabi, there's Leadform. There's many different softwares out there um, where you can come over here and create landing pages, right? Web pages, landing pages. Um, and so if you don't have a landing page, any type of software to come over here and create different pages, like I have... Um, you know, over here in my shared funnels, I have a bunch of real estate pages, you know, so if I'm running an ad, you know, on an, on a listing or an open house, like here's a simple page, they click on it, they come straight to a page, they click the yellow button, they opt in, I capture the lead. So someone like me that is using landing pages that use a lot of landing pages, we run conversion ads. Okay. So to answer your question, the only time when you would run a lead form ad is if you don't have landing pages, bottom line, if you don't have landing pages. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video is to go into more depth and go into more details regarding the two and really the differences, right? Um, when it comes to lead form ads, again, it's for those of you that don't have landing pages. So if you don't have a website software, that's why you're running lead gen ads, okay? And this right here, this lead form, when you come into the ads manager, um, you come over here, you click on create. This is the one right here that, that Derek is referring to, lead generation. So if I don't have a landing page, then conversions wouldn't be the one, traffic wouldn't be the one, right? Traffic and conversions, that's when you have landing pages. You're driving traffic, you're running ads to get people to click and go to your landing page to opt in. That's traffic and conversions. But if I don't have that, then I'm going lead generation, okay? Now, when you go lead generation, that's the lead form that Derek's referring to. Um, when you start running those ads, that lead, so um, I, I, yeah, I rarely see those ads. Let me see if I can actually um, come across one. Let me see if I can if I can randomly click on an ad and let's see if anyone is running. Okay. Actually, you know what? Look, team of CS nine out of 10 times. This is a real estate agent nine out of 10 times. If I click on book now, let's see where he's taking me. Bam. Shout out to team of CS. You guys are my example for today. This right here is a lead form. Okay. So when, when you run lead generation, you come over here, you smash the green button, you go lead generation. That's when you're using Facebook's lead form. Again, because you don't have your own landing page, right? So here's what happens when you, when you, when you run lead generation. And, and, and there's no really wrong or right one to run. You can run whatever the hell you want. And, and again, I'm going to go into details um, on the differences and, and why I just use conversions and I don't go lead generation um, and use this form here. But this is the, a lot of people, a lot of people use this and, and you definitely can, right? So, so this is the lead form automatically, boom, information's populated and all that person has to do is hit next. In fact, let me hack, let me hack this, um, this funnel here. So I'm going to, I'm going to click next. 
And then boom, it takes me to the terms and conditions. I click on submit, or it would be a privacy policy and then success. That's it. So this guy right here, Team Macias or Gal, whoever it may be, they simply captured a lead, right? They just captured a lead. It's it's no different different than if I came straight to, to a landing page, right? So if I saw that ad, I clicked, I came over here to the landing page, I clicked on the yellow button, I opted in, send me the details, right? Same, very similar process, right? Here's the difference, really. Here's the difference. So over here, I just simply entered my name and email, um, and then and then and then at the very end, success. And then if I click on this blue button, where is he taking me? He's probably taking me to a full blown website where all there is is information, right? Nothing else, right? So look, so it's Jessica Messia. Shout out to Jessica. She took me to a full blown website where there's all these other things to click on, right? All these other things to click on. There's a video, her YouTube video. Now, over here on this website, this pixel is tracking everything. So hopefully that's her pixel and not her broker's, right? Because a lot of times with real estate, that's the broker's pixel. You need that to be yours. So Derek, if this is your page, if you were taking me here, you're running lead generation, the lead form, and boom, the very last link, you're sending me to a website. This pixel better be your pixel, okay? I see it happen over and over and over with real estate agents. That pixel is not theirs. That needs to be your pixel, okay? So here's what ends up happening. Here's what ends up happening. I filled out the form, right? She got the lead. Now that lead is going to be in her Facebook business page, okay? So again, and I'm going to explain the differences. So to find that lead, she would have to come over here to her business page, right? You come to the business page, do it from a computer, not from your, your phone, Come over here on a desktop. You're going to come over here to your business page. You're going to click on settings over here to the left. And then you're going to click on, um, where did it go? It, it's freaking, um, because I'm viewing it from, I'm viewing it from the admin. What you can do actually right here. Perfect. Okay. So again, I'm, I'm logged in. I'm looking at it from the admin view. Um, if I wanted to look at it from um, the normal view, then it would look like this. So if I just hit that drop down, then boom, here's here's the normal view of, of my page. But I'm in the admin. It takes you by default into the admin because, you know, it's your page. So right here in the admin, you should see to the left, right here, you're going to see publishing tools. So if you click on that, that lead is going to be sitting right over here, okay? So again, I'm going to explain why I normally don't go lead generation and use this option. So if I come over here to the left, you're going to click on lead setup that lead would be right over here. So first I have to set it up, right? I have to set it up. Um, I have to connect my CRM. So step one, find your CRM. So if I hit this right here, I could hit the drop. I can, I can, cl I can uh, click inside there and I can try to type in my CRM. Now in here, what's a CRM? A CRM is really your, your customer management software. So wherever you house your leads, right? Um, any lead, that's a CRM. Um, it's really a platform. It's a, it's a software that would that would either be tied to your, it, it's either just a standalone CRM or it's tied to your email automation, your email autoresponder, right? So whatever it may be, see if you could type it in and see if you see it in the dropdown. If you don't see that CRM in the dropdown, then it's not, um, it's not, not that it's not compatible with Facebook, but it's not integrated with Facebook. So you would then have to now, um, and, and you can either find it that way or, or you can connect it this way. But when you connect a CRM that's not with Facebook, then you have to go out there and connect Zapier. This is what I don't like. Okay, so now here's what, here's what ends up happening when I go lead generation and I use Facebook's lead form. Chances are if my CRM is not, um, already integrated and partnered with Facebook. I then have to go pay for Zapier. Now you can, I think there's a free version of, Zap, of Zapier that you can get on for a little while, but as you start to grow your business, you're going to have to pay for Zapier. And that's like 30 bucks a month, right? So I have to, and, and all Zapier is, is a freaking software that automatically takes the lead and imports it to your CRM. It's either you're going to do it automatically through a, a, a third party tool like Zapier that you're going to be paying for monthly, or that CRM is integrated, or 
it's not going to be integrated and you're not going to pay for Zapier and you're going to export the lead manually yourself, which is freaking nuts. Like, I don't want to do that, right? So if my CRM is not integrated with, with Facebook already, then I have to go pay for Zapier and then, and then, and then have Zapier zap it, right? That's what they do. They, they literally automatically will take every lead that comes in and transport it to and import it to your CRM automatically, but you're paying for that Zapier software. So that's why I normally don't go this route because my CRM is not integrated with Facebook. So my CRM is Kartra. So I use Kartra for everything, my email autoresponder, my, my CRM and my landing pages. But um, my, my CRM is not integrated. So therefore I would have to go get a Zapier and pay for that monthly. Okay. Um, and then all your leads will be right here um, as you use the lead generation form. So rather than doing all of that, um, and here's another reason, here's another reason why. Now, you can create a, a custom audience because again, it's all about custom audiences where most people get it wrong is they'll try to run ads, right? And because they don't capture any leads, they give up. It's like, dude, you ran it for a few days. You ran one. It's like, you got to freaking, you got to go all in. You got to, you got to spend more than that. You got to, you got to run more ads. You got to be consistent. And as you run ads and as you stay consistent, what you end up doing is building your custom audiences. Custom audiences are audiences of people who have engaged with your previous shit. So if I watched your previous video ad, you track that through a custom audience. You put all them people who watch, if you got a one minute video, you're putting all the people who watched it for 30 seconds in a custom audience, right? That custom audience, you're gonna show your next ad to. You're gonna show another ad to. You're going to keep retargeting everyone who's watching that video with your next ad. You're always retargeting people who are watching your previous videos. That is a custom audience. Another custom audience are those who engage with your lead generation ad. So back over here with Team Asias, I clicked on it. I filled out the form. I'm now in a custom audience. Even if I clicked on it and didn't fill out the form, I would still be in a quote unquote custom audience. Now, Team Macias would have to set up that audience first, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt and, 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 and say that they did. So if they did set up a custom audience, in this case, because I filled out the form, now I should be in their custom audience of leads. And I'm not talking about in a CRM, I'm talking about in the ads manager. You go and set up a custom audience. I should now be in the custom audience with Team Asias of leads. Now, as Team Asias goes, goes and continues to go and run future ads, I shouldn't see any more ads because I've already opted in. I'm already a lead, right? So that's no matter if you go lead generation or you go conversions, like I'm going to show you why, why I go conversions. It don't matter. I'm still a lead. I should still be in a custom audience and, 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 and team of CS should still be excluding me from seeing future ads. I should not see any more ads regarding this type of offer, right? Because I already opted in. So custom audiences is where it's all at. No matter what ad objective you're going with, you need to be creating custom audiences. You need to be retargeting those custom audiences. You need to be excluding those custom audiences of leads, okay? So again, what I'm really trying to say in closing regarding the lead generation, there's just a few more steps that I don't really care to take. I don't want to, I don't want to have to go and pay for Zapier, right? Um, I'm going to have to pay for some CRM and email autoresponder anyways. So that's why I end up just going with Kartra and Kartra is a one fee for all. So I spend $99 a month for Kartra and it comes with my landing pages, all these damn pages that I can create. Um, it comes with my email automation. It comes with my online calendar. So here's the deal, D. This lead, again, better be put into a CRM. If the CRM is not integrated with Facebook, she better be zapping me, right? Because that lead needs to start receiving emails. She needs to team a CS, you, whoever, all of us, we need to be nurturing that lead. So again, I'm either going to be paying for Zapier. I'm going to either be paying for some CRM or, or email automation. So that's why I just do Kartra. I just do conversions. I just create my own damn landing pages. 
and again, I'll explain why more in detail here in a couple minutes. But um, but um, no matter what, that lead needs to be nurtured via email automation. So you, again, when you go lead generation, you're still having to pay for all these other damn tools. You might have just went. You you might as well just go conversions and go create your own landing page. Because again, I'll show you why in in more detail. But um, in those emails that go out, so if you're zapping it. You're putting that lead in your in your CRM. You got that lead nurturing via email automation. What you also need, that's why I use Kartra, because what you're going to also need is a calendar. You're going to also need an online calendar. A lot of people try to use Calendly and use the free version, version of that. But again, you're using multiple softwares. I got a software for Zapier, paying every month for that. I got a, I got a software for my email autoresponder, paying every month for that. I got another, I got, I'm getting, I, 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 need, I now need another software, which is Calendly, for my online calendar. I'm already talking three softwares. It's like, dude, that's, again, that's just way too many. So I go conversions, I use one software, Kartra, and this is my landing pages, my email autoresponder, my online calendar, because here's what happens. Again, whether I'm going lead generation, whatever, that lead needs to be nurtured. As I'm nurturing that lead via email automation, in each email, there better be a link to your calendar. So if you're running an ad D on a listing, right? Let's say you're running an ad for a listing. Let's say this is a, a video right here of a listing, right? I click on the ad. I come straight to this one page, get instant access to the price and photos of this property. So now we're going to talk conversions and why I go conversions. I'm running a conversions ad, let's say. They click on it and it looks just like this. There's no difference on the way it looks. There's no difference. The only difference is that rather than clicking book now and a form popping up, you would click learn more and it'll go straight to this page, right? So here's really the differences and why I use conversions and go conversions and, and just pay for my own landing page software because here's what ends up happening. Again, that lead needs to be nurtured. So as that lead comes in, right? And on the form, on the form page, like over here on the form, she took me all the way through. She took me to a success page. I clicked on the blue button and then she took me to her full-blown website. When you come to this conversions and you click on, you click on the ad, you come straight to this one page, you opt in, send me the details on the listing. That lead is then taken to this one page. I couldn't do that with the form, right? Or as I, I, I could have, she could have linked this one page to this blue button, but she linked it to her full-blown website, okay? I would have rather just linked it to this page right here. But again, this is my second page in my conversions campaign. Landing page, thank you page, that's it. The reason why this page is so important and you don't want to link that blue button to a full-blown website at the end, it needs to be going to a page like this. Simple page where it's you on video. Now, I know she had her YouTube video on that long ass website page, but hitting that blue button and going straight to her full blown website was super overwhelming. There was so much shit on that website. Before you know it, I'm clicking on this, I'm clicking on that, I'm clicking on that. And before you know, it, I got to go. You got to take me to one page. We all have freaking ADD, we all have a short attention span. And so, if I enter my name and email, I need to come straight to this one page because your objective. At the end of the day, especially real estate, Derek looks like he's in the real estate field. In your specific business, at the end of the day, you're in the lead capture business. I ain't running these ads for my health. I'm running these ads to get a freaking lead, right? Bottom line, I need to capture a damn lead. So by, by, by Team Macias taking me here and then taking me on the blue button to a full-blown full blown website, they just missed their opportunity. Now she captured the lead. But at the end of the day, you need to get me on the phone. That's the business you're in. Excuse me. We're all in the business of lead generation. We all need to capture lead. But real estate specifically, and also most businesses, my business as well, we're also in the business of getting that person on the damn phone. Right here, she missed that opportunity. I hit the blue button. I go to a full-blown website. Over here, I opt in. I'm then taken to a thank you page website where it's one page, you on video telling me to schedule my private showing. 
you on video telling me to click the button to schedule your listing appointment, right? Whatever it may be. But right here is the, is the time where you have the opportunity where you have to get that person to schedule a call. That's the business we're in. We're in the business of getting people on the freaking phone, right? So I know she asked for the phone number up front on this one. But again, if you're not creating custom audiences and retargeting people and getting back in front of people and building that rapport with people, don't expect people to click on the ad the very first time. And that's what most do. And that's why if you're running these types of ads, a lot of times what I get is the fact that that person put in the wrong number. So when I take someone to a landing page, I'm not even asking for the phone number. I'm not even asking for the phone number. They go to the landing page, they opt in, then they come straight to this thank you page. And this is where I'm telling them to schedule their call. And if it's not here, then it's in the email automation. That's why the calendar is so important. The email autoresponder is so important because after that lead opts in, I opted in over here, but I gave, I gave team of the wrong number. So they better be emailing me. They better be, and not, not physically emailing me. They, be, they better have me in some type of email autoresponder. But the most important link in the email automation, in these next 10 emails are, that are set to follow, the most important link in each body of email is a link to your calendar. So there better be a call to action. Now over here again, you went to my landing page, you opted in, I'm running conversion ads, I bring you here, Right here, you're going to see me on video. Hey, guys, thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. My name is Derek. I am the listing agent of this beautiful property. Let me tell you a little bit more about it and why you're going to want to schedule your private showing now. It's like, dude, how different would that have been versus coming over here and then just clicking the damn blue button and going to a full-blown website? And yes, it her video is on here, but I got to scroll down. I got all this shit up here. Then I got to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and then boom, there's her video. There's her video. But guess what? I'm going to end up clicking on it. It's going to bring me straight to YouTube. Because I have ADD, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to come straight to freaking YouTube. And before you know it, retire at age 30? Holy shit. Let me click on that one. Before you know it, dude. Three seconds into the damn YouTube video, I'm already here. I'm over here watching how to freaking retire at 30. So you lost me. You lost me. You lost me. That strategy, don't put a YouTube video on a page at all. Like you got to take me to one page where it's just you on video. That's it. Now, this is a YouTube little image here, but that's not a YouTube video, right? I just put the play button just for the hell of it. That is a video that's sitting on Kartra. So this video is so important because, again, that's what you're trying to get me to, to schedule a call. But if it doesn't happen in that, that link to the calendar is in each email. So as an email goes out tomorrow, hey, Dave, this is Derek. Just wanted to follow up. I know yesterday you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, let me tell you a little bit more about this property and why you're going to want to schedule your showing now. That link for your calendar, again, is in that email. Two days later, another email goes out automatically. Hey, Dave, this is Derek. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know a couple of days ago you inquired on this, on this beautiful property. Let me tell you how our private showing went last night and why you're not going to want to miss out. In fact, Dave, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Like that link is your money, that link to your calendar. Because again, I'm not asking for anyone. I'm not asking for phone number on any of this stuff. It's not until I, I take it to my calendar. When you click on that link and you take the action, you take the initiative to schedule a call with me. That's when that lead's going to give you their phone number. That's when they're going to schedule that call with you because you've been providing value. This is all about value, man. It's all value-based content. These emails that are going out, it's not just pitching the property. The emails that would follow after this listing are emails that are educating that person, giving them more information, you know, being that consultant, being that professional, and, and just educating them on the process, whether it's the listing, whether it's an open house, whether whether that whether that whether you're giving that lead a seller guide up front or a buyer guide, the money is in the nurturing of that email list. And so again, that's why I normally don't go lead form because I still got to go pay for a CRM. I still have to pay for some type of email autoresponder. I'm going to then have to pay for Zapier, which I don't want to pay for that. I'd rather just pay for everything all up front, one fee anyways, and include some landing pages and run conversions. Now here's the deal. And I'll end it here. Here's, here's pretty much the, another reason why I, I go conversions. 
because with conversions, I don't just have one page. Like over here with her ad, it was one freaking like button. I click on one ad and then boom, there's one form and that's it. When it comes to landing pages, there's way more to it. There's more funnels to it. So what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to put my pixel on any page and on every page because I can, I can then go and create custom audiences around all these different pages and start running specific ads to them. So if you come into my funnel, right? So here's, here's what happens. Back to the lead one. She then has to take the lead off, right? Using Zapier or whatever. Take the lead out, put it into your CRM. As she starts to email me, hopefully automated emails. These emails are full with content regarding the listing, the open house, seller guide, buyer guide, whatever. And also there's a link to my calendar in these emails. But what I do is I teach on how to take it up a few steps. These emails that go out after the person opted in for whatever you're, you're offering, these emails better have video, better have video. And, and, and normally you'd have to host that video on a page, okay? So that's just how I do it. So as my emails go out, I'll have that email, click here to watch my recent video. And in that video, I mean, excuse me, in that email, they're clicking, coming to a page and watching this one video. This could be email number four. And on this one video, I'm talking about a specific listing. I'm talking about a seller guide, or maybe I'm giving tips on what it takes to purchase a home in the next you know, year. Whatever it may be, my email automation is full of content, value, and education, and I'm doing a lot of it in video form. Now, you may not be video person. You may not be that person, right? I'm encouraging you to be that person. You got to start putting out video because that's what's separating you. A lead is getting 15,000 different emails from 15,000 different agents at all times. It's like, dude, what's going to separate Derek? What's going to put you separate you and, and put you apart from every Tom, Dick, and Harry and the other 2 million fucking freaking realtor, realtors, right? It's video. It's video. It has nothing to do with how you look. It has nothing to do with your accent. It has nothing to do with any of that. Hair, no hair, freaking freckles, no freckles. It has nothing to do with any of that. The fact that you're on video and you're educating people via email automation on video, that's what makes people indoctrinated and gets people to fall in love with you. No matter what, man, it's freaking video. And that's what I say on my YouTube channel every freaking time. The only reason why you guys are here is because you see me on video. It's the only reason, dude. If I was writing this shit in a blog, none of you would be reading it. I wouldn't have the same love that I have on, on these damn videos if it wasn't video, right? So when you can start putting out educational-based content, talking about what that lead opted in for, and I don't care if this is nine days later and this is email number nine. Every email should pertain to what that person opted in for. So if they opted in for a listing, you're talking about that. If they opted in for an open house, you're talking about that. And you're talking about that specific listing. Don't have me opt in like what she did over here, Tima Sia. Shout out to Tima Sia, but damn, I'm seeing flaws in your game over here. As I opted in for this one specific thing, I'm then taken from a blue button and I'm now looking at many other properties. It's like, dude, I didn't opt in for that. I didn't opt in to look at these freaking $2 million houses. I didn't opt in. I didn't ask for any of this shit. It was, it was supposed to be specific on one topic, one listing, one open house, seller guide, buyer guide. You're talking about one thing. That's what makes the email automation so valuable because that person is, is, is looking forward to receiving your emails based on what they were interested in, specific, right? So in these emails, again, there's a calendar. There's a link to a calendar, and hopefully you're out there on video educating that lead via email automation um, on what it takes to purchase or what it takes to buy or what it takes to get this listing, whatever. You're educating them on that topic and you're, 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 you're getting them to schedule the call. But as I put out video, I have that video on a page and on Facebook pixeling them. So then I can now take that data, create a custom audience, and now focus my ads on only those people. That's what's so powerful about conversions. When you're going conversions, 
you're running ads to your own page. And on your own page, there's many, many pages that, it, that the entire funnel can consist of. On that page, I have my pixel tracking everything. And I'm now taking these links because every page has, has its own link, right? Every page, every page has its own link. I'm now taking these links and creating custom audiences so I can then retarget and show my future ads to. So hopefully that wasn't too overwhelming, D, and to everybody else watching, but that's why that's kind of the difference. With lead gen, you just have to go a few more steps. You have to export that lead. Um, you can create a custom audience around it, around anyone who engages, but that's about it. There's so much more that goes into a funnel. Um, and so I just go conversions. I go conversions. I use Kartra to help me with my with my actual, you know, freaking monthly cost. Because when you start getting all these damn softwares, that's where the expensive part of it all comes in, man. It's not just, you know, an expense on Facebook advertising. But now if you're not using a, a, a software like Kartra, you're paying for all these separate services, man, individually. And that can get expensive. So I have Kartra for one. It, it, it runs my entire online business, my landing pages, my email automation, my online calendar. I host my videos on, on, on Kartra. So I do a lot through Kartra, man. So if anything, Derek, activate a 14-day trial, man. I have a ton of funnels that are already done for you. Like I have a ton of funnels that I can just simply transfer over to your account for free and, um, and they'll be in your account in two seconds. Activate a 14-day trial. The link is in the description. Profitwithkartra.online. Once you activate a 14-day trial, you'll receive an email from me. I host these Kartra Q&A calls for my entire team every Monday and Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So we go live. I, I, I answer questions. I teach you how to use the entire Kartra platform, and we just have a good time learning the damn thing. So um, if any of you out there, man, want to activate a 14-day trial, I will literally help you take this software to the next level and your business to the next level on social media. But um conversions that's what conversions is for man so if you have any landing page software if you're already if you're already using some type of landing page you kind of want to go conversions man you want to go conversions um and 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 capture leads that way because again it's all about custom audiences and it's all about nurturing that lead via email automation and i'm just saying take it up a few notches and as your emails go out make them on video make them on video every email that goes out hey dave here's derek this is Derek. Just wanted to shoot another video for you. Click here to watch my recent one regarding this listing and what we have to talk about. So I click, I end up going to a page, you're pixeling me, right? That's just allows you to get more data from, from where, where your, your leads are landing on certain pages at what time. And now you can create custom audiences and retarget them. So Hopefully that made sense, Derek. Let me know if you have any other questions, man. If you're new to the channel, man, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and a digital publishing company. Um, I'm super fired up when it comes to social media marketing and making money online. So I run a lot of Facebook ads. I have a lot of clients. I do this shit all damn day. So a lot of my videos um, here on YouTube are just day in the life. I'm either answering questions or I'm documenting me running an ad, me setting up ad ads for clients, um, me setting up landing pages and, and email automations for my own damn business. Like I am just simply documenting everything when it comes to social media marketing, Facebook advertising, landing pages, and just simply making money online. So if you're into any of that stuff, man, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications, and drop me a comment below. Let me know what kind of business you guys are building, and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, guys, so let me know if that made sense, Derek, and, and thank you so much for your support, man. I'm looking forward to your reply. Talk to you soon.